Good evening, YouTube. Were you talking to me? Did you, were you were you saying something to me? I'm sorry. Okay. It is Thursday, March twenty first, twenty thirteen, five eighteen p.m. We're going to continue with Revelation chapter nine from the Amplified Bible. Then the fifth angel blew his trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen from the sky to earth. And to the angel was given the key of the shaft of the abyss, the bottomless pit. He opened the long shaft of the abyss, the bottomless pit, and the smoke like this smoke of a huge furnace puffed out of the long shaft so that the sun and the atmosphere were darkened by the smoke from the long shaft. Three. Then the smoke, then out of the smoke locusts came forth on the earth, and such power was granted them as the power of earth scorpions have. They were told not to injure the herbage of the earth, earth, nor any green thing, nor any tree, but only to attack such human beings as do not have the seal mark of God on their foreheads. Five, they were not permitted to kill them, but to torment, distress, vex them for five months, and the pain caused them was like the torture of scorpions when it stings a person. Six, and in those days people seek death and, it, and will not find it. And they will yearn to die, but death evades and flees from them. Seven, the locust resembles horses equipped for battle. On their heads was something like crown, golden crowns. Their faces resembled the faces of people. Eight, they had hair like the hair of women, and their teeth were like lion's teeth. Nine, their breastplate scales resembled the breastplates made of iron, and their whirling noise made by their wings was like the roar of the vast numbers of horse-drawn chariots going at full speed into battle. Ten, they have tails like scorpions, and they have stings, and in their tails lies their ability to hurt men for the five months. Eleven, over them as kings, they have the angels of the abyss of the bottomless pit. In Hebrew, his name is Ab Abaddon, destruction, but in Greek he is called Apollon, destroyer. Twelve, the first woe calamity has passed. Behold, two others are yet to follow. Thirteen, then the sixth angel blew his trumpet, and from the forehorn of the golden archer, which stands before God, I heard a voluntary voice. Fourteen, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, liberate the four angels who are bound at the great rivers, Euphrates. 15. So the four angels who had been in readiness for that hour in the appointed day, month, and year were liberated to destroy a third of mankind. A third of mankind. 16. The number of their troops of Calvaries was twice 10,000 times 10,000. 200 million. I heard what their number was. 17. And in my vision, the horses and their riders appeared to be appeared to me like this the writer who the writers were breastplate the color of fiery red and sapphire blue and sulfur brimstone yellow their heads of the horses looked like lion's heads and from their mouths they poured little fire and smoke and sulfur brimstone and a third of mankind was killed by these three plagues by the fire and the smoke and the sulfur brimstone that poured from the mouths of the horses. 19. For the power of the horses to do harm is in their mouths and also their tails. Their tails are like serpents, for they have heads, and it is by means of them that they wound people. 20. And the rest of humanity who were not killed by these plagues, even then did not repent of their worship of the works of their own hands so as to cease paying homage to the demons and idols of gold and silver and bronze and stone and wood, which can neither see nor hear nor move. 21. And they did not repent of their murders or their practice of magic, sorceries, or their sexual vice, or their thefts. And that concludes Revelation chapter 9 from the Amplified Version. All right, my brothers and sisters. I shall return with chapter 10. Peace be in you. I love you guys.